All right, so my second attempt. I did a video and only gave me five minutes to record. I got a new phone, a Galaxy Note 9, which I'm very impressed with. So I lowered the HD quality, and I got a fly in here that wants to enter the review. Um, this is something that's coming out, I believe, on the 28th, um, uh, at least according to Christian Book. I received this from ESV for review. And I'm really, really impressed by this little beauty. In fact, if you pre-order now on Christian Book, I think it was like $47, which this thing is well worth $47. Um, another thing I want to say about Crossway is they are listening to the consumers. They're listening. But this is the large print, wide margin Bible, genuine leather, black. Uh, very good representation. Looks just like that, which you'll see here in a second. Um... Okay, so the features here is 11-point lexicon type, which I love from ESV, or Crossway, I'm sorry. Uh, Double-column paragraph format, enlarged, bolded verse numbers. So people that, you know, want to preach from it, it's a little bit easier to find the verses because of the bolded verse numbers. Uh, Extra-wide, one-inch margins. Eh, yeah, it's one inch, but you'll see it's not your standard wide margin. But for me... I love it. It's the perfect size because the Bible is about the size of a regular Concord, just a tad bit bigger. Uh, it is a Smithsonian binding, full color maps, ribbon marker, uh, presentation page, and lifetime guarantee. No questions asked, guys. These guys do a great job when it comes to replacing any Bible that you purchase from them. And, of course, some of the people, uh, why Christian leaders are what they're saying about the ESV, and that's been around for quite a long time. That's the box. Here's the Bible. First thing that I noticed taken out of the box was the leather, guys. The leather, uh, it seems very thin. Now, I had to think, well, if I'm going by these edges here, that they skive leather to fold it. And I noticed they didn't put no cardstock. It is a paste down, but there is no cardstock there. So what that does is it allows it to be flexible um, without having to be so rugged or thick which that's not really the thing nowadays. I kind of prefer the old school style every now and then, but this is great for this because it helps it lay flat, which you'll see. But it's very soft. Uh, to me, it feels like a top grain cowhide. Uh, I'm not sure what leather it is though, but um, yeah, it's really nice. It's got a tooled line, a perimeter. Uh, one thing you'll notice right away, look at this, not even a Genesis opens flat. It was like that out of the box. Uh, they are really, they mastered the hinge. Uh, this is from R.R. Donnelly. This is a 2018 printing. It's brand new. I believe this is the first time they've done a large print wide margin. Uh, your presentation pre presentation pages are on a, a Bible paper or cardstock, probably about 60 GSM or, or less. So it's not too thick, not too thin. They're not glossy. People have been asking for that. Crossway listens. They delivered. Uh, you'll see, of course, the Holy Bible ESV, um, of course, from Crossway. And it's really a bare bones Bible. Um, you know, you got your, your books of the Bible, alphabetical order, your preface, and that's it for the beginning until you get straight to the text. Uh, there are no references, but they do have the variant textual footnotes. And there might be a few references. I haven't spotted any, but yeah, they do have. Um, some references when it comes to variants in the text. Um, so here we go with the wide margin. It's not like a Cambridge wide margin or anything like that, but you do have an inch wide margin on your uh, outer perimeters. You do have a lot of generous room, which makes really good reading at 11 point lexicon type. Uh, so that doesn't spill into the gutter at all. And there's even a room I would use definitely myself for references. I'd here be abbreviated notes. That's my system because in the bottom and the top, you don't have much wide margin. It is black letter all the way through the paper, the paper guys, really good paper. Uh, as you can see, still this is from RR uh, Donnelly, which I should have looked at that, but the paper here is still that gold edging kind of keep it together, which is Sign of a brand new Bible. Um, I would say it's anywhere from 30 to 32 GSM, uh, but it's very opaque, very nice. And of course, you know, any camera picks it up more. The ghosting is very minimal. So I think anybody that um, with, with the line matching and all that, people know ESV, they do a great job. Um, so 
Oh yeah, New Testament does not have red letter. I think I mentioned that. So I'm not going to go through a lot of this. Um, other than the paper's nice, they li- they've been listening. In fact, they've even improved. If you look at the tail band, head and tail bands, they look different. And the ribbon that it comes with is just one. It's only a single satin ribbon, which is kind of to be expected for this, uh, you know, right below the premium mark of Bibles. Um, nothing too fancy, but everything else is really, really a good high quality. Oh, something I wanted to show you is look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, they used to do this years ago. Not Crossway, but other publishers. And I noticed throughout the years you'll see only maybe like four stitches, sometimes five, okay? And that has caused problems where the page will want to flip in after a while or pages fall out. They've really did a good job with the Smithsonian binding on this Bible because of the seven different perimeters where they stitched. So it just it makes the Bible lay super flat and uh, just, just a great job. Good job, uh, Crossway. Thanks for listening. Thanks for just uh, being so uh, open to criticism, you know, constructive criticism, of course, people that just criticize for the sake of criticism. Now, on the camera, of course, it doesn't show it. Maybe you can see it, that the verse numbers are more bold. Excuse my dirty fingertips, that's from work. <laughs> and uh, But as you can see, so a preacher could use this for preaching. And of course, it's a wide margin. You can mark in it. So you can actually underline your verses, have your notes, of course, have your journal with your full outline. But you could, you know, arrows or underline so you don't lose your place as you preach from if you use the ESV as your preaching Bible. Um, and I believe I already said it's not red letter. In the back, like I said, this is a bare bones Bible, but I, I really, really, really like it. Um, I think it does have table and weights. Yes, weight, weights and measures. So you do have that. That's the end of Revelation. But after that, you do have... Um, you do have maps, and guess what? They're not on glossy paper no more. They're listening. It's on a nice matte finish, uh, Bible paper, or, you know, like a really thin card stock. Uh, of course, we all love the ESV maps. Well, most people do that I've seen. Uh, so you do have maps, and you can write on them, use them up, which I think is a forgotten part of Bible study. But now you can use those maps, and then you're just at the end of the Bible. Uh, beautiful pace down. Did a really good job on the corners. And what you would expect from Crossway, but even just better and listening to um, the consumers out there, guys. So that is the ESV large print wide margin from Crossway. Um, I'm going to start rating the Bibles, and some Bibles I don't review because I just don't like them. I don't think they're worth people purchasing, which sounds bad, but those Bibles are just not put uh, put together well. So when I do a review on a Bible, it's because I believe it's something that a consumer would want. But I would rate this one a definitely um, for its, uh, since it's not a premium, and of course it's not, uh, you know, something like a cheap type Bible, I'd give this, a, you know, a, a solid 9 out of 10. So... Um, that's my review on it. I guess I'll start rating them 1 through 10. So I'd say 8.5, 9 out of 10. Uh, very good job. It is an embossed uh, grain, but you can also see natural grain in there. Uh, so it doesn't really hide it. It's not too embossed, and you can see a lot of the natural grain still in the Bible. But until next time, guys, good day, and God bless.